Hey guys, what's going on? Lucky here. So um, after a long week uh, shooting on HRG, uh, we got a lot accomplished. Um, we brought a lot of cars back from the dead. Well, we brought a couple cars back from the dead. Um, I am back at the shop and I think I did a couple videos about uh, losing belts and eating belts on my C10. Um, I need to come clean. I found the problem and I'm going to fess up right now. Uh, we did do one episode of Hot Rod Garage where uh, recently where we uh, took a car to the uh, Famoso, to the racetrack, and I planned on driving my C10 there. So, uh, yeah, I didn't clean it up. I blew it out with an air hose, um, checked the tire pressure, uh, checked the fluids, and jumped on the road. Swing by the studio to pick up Alex. We were going to drive out there together, and uh, I got there. I heard a funny noise. It sounded like my supercharger had shut off, and then I'm like... Supercharger doesn't shut off. I got, got out and I looked and it looked like the uh, ATI balancer had come off the crank. So I'm thinking, uh, great. Well, uh, production comes first. So I just locked the car up. Went and got my Silverado, jumped in that, went and did our deal. Car sat here all week. And now, this is what's up. So, I had some issues with the belt coming off. I kept thinking it was belt alignment. Um, this is a dirty dingo system. I don't know what I was thinking. Like, um, I put it on just as a, I was told to put it on, and it kept pitching belts. The deal was, I couldn't find the belt the right length. Um, not that they don't have it, it's just that I was trying to get this thing together. I was impatient, I was hitting up a local store. They're like, oh, we don't have a 115 or 114, whatever it was at the time. We have a 113 or a, a 112. So I forget. It's something to the effect that I just couldn't get the right length belt. So what I did was I drilled and tapped the hole right here on the balancer, or on the bracket, and then moved this idler pulley up to there, which allowed me to run a little bit of a shorter belt. And it was nice and tight, and the dampener had a nice load on it. Everything was great. However, when I hit the two-step, which once again springs right back to uh, me being irresponsible, um, I don't have a horn on the car, so I found the two-step, it was on there, forgot it was there. I click it in neutral, tap my foot on the brake, give it some gas, pop, 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 see whoever, say what's up. Um, when I did that, um, what would happen is, because this belt, now, this pulley was up here. I didn't have enough wrap on the AC compressor. I had enough wrap for slippage, but, you know, a Dirty Dingo does their research. That's not just there to prevent it from slipping. It prevents that little torque wave from getting in the belt. And it was literally like a couple of the pulleys were spinning slower than the other pulley. So it would put a wave in the belt. And as soon as it did that, that belt would pop over two ribs on the edge as soon as it went around one time that rib was cut off and then to this day i'm still digging around in here and i'm finding chunks of belt laying in the little corners because it would start smacking the hood it would wrap around the jack shaft and push the seal out i mean there was just nothing but bad news all behind me just being too lazy to find the right length belt so I got the right length belt, I went to put it on. I'm like, oh man, this thing is too long. How am I gonna do this? And then to solve the problem, I simply put the pulley back where it belongs, right where it was supposed to be. Sorry, Dirty Dango. I don't know what I was thinking. I was going to outsmart you guys, but either way. Um, it is now together, running eight rib. Um, the 
ATI down there. I uh, pinned it, put it on, well, keyway pinned it, put it back on, used some Loctite, um, not too much damage. Well, I think there was some crankshaft damage, but uh, that was actually there before when I first got the motor. Um, the uh, pulley was loose and uh, yeah, it spun a little bit there. However, um, I think we're good now. I'm gonna let some silicone dry and take this thing out and cruise. So yeah, I wanted to come up and be honest on that. I may have talked some crap about the belt, belt length and stuff like that, 100% on me. Um, that's it. I think I'm driving this to quarantine cruise this Sunday. That's tomorrow. Or maybe I'll drive the Chevelle because I just got done charging up the AC on the Chevelle. So I could potentially drive the Chevelle. Either way, thanks for checking it out. Thanks, Dirty Dingle, for all your support. I called those guys. Super supportive on their tech line. Um, ends up I'm talking to the owner when I call over there. And he's like, yeah, nope, that's not possible. Or yes, that absolutely is possible. But uh, yeah, problem solved. Um, that's it. Thanks a lot, you guys. See you later.